Hey, it was sure nice to see them today. I... I think they even looked at me. They... They looked at me! They saw me, and they knew me, and I knew them in the same way! <laughs> it won't last. What? Oh, you're so forgetful. So innocent, really. We're the same person, in case you forget. And besides, I'm not even supposed to be talking to you. Do you really think a glance will be satisfactory for long? A glance? I'm sure you share more with the guy who delivers your pizza. Or the barista that gives you your coffee. At least you know those people know your name. Even if only for an instant. They... We're getting there. It's all a process, really. I thought you'd be able to crack that. Oh, how sweet! Taking it slow, are we, honey bunny? Dipping your toes in the water before you dive in? How cautious of you. Well, it's not like you're suggesting anything. Oh, but I am. No, you're not. I am. You just don't want to listen. You know what? You're right! I don't want to listen to you. I don't think I've so much as heard a good idea from you ever. Ever, in fact. You've only been aware of me for what? A week? It's hard to get any zingers in when I can only manifest myself to you like, what, five minutes a day or so? Give me a break. Ugh. If I let you suggest an idea just this one time, then will you leave me alone? It's kind of hard to wash my hands with the whole, you know. My what? Copying me thing. It's a mirror dingus. Ugh! You know what I mean. I'm looking at my face, but it's not my face because you're the one wearing it. Doing things I'd never do with it. In front of me, you know? God, no wonder anybody thinks you're losing it. What? Nothing! I didn't say anything. Everyone thinks you're confident and cool and ever so sexy, I promise. I hate you. Oh, I hate I you. I know you do. What's delightful, you'd think that would be enough to stop me. Now, stop me if you think you've heard this before. But I think we need to have a lot more fun. Fun? That's your big, important idea that you just had to tell me about? Look at you. I mean, really, look at you. You're wound up like a top. So anxious. So nervous. So desperate. People hate desperation, sweetheart. And you reek of it. It's cloying and clawing, and it drives people away. It'll drive them away, too, you know. Don't. Think about them and all of this, really. Once they learn what you're really like, who you really are, you think they'll like that? You think they could like you? Ah, giving me the silent treatment. How original. Now, to completely render yourself better than you already are is practically impossible. Not because you're as good as you can possibly be, but because I'm aware of how much you're going to reject any change I offer you, whether consciously or subconsciously. So, we have to work with what we got. Gee, thanks. Look, you can push and pull all you want. All I'm saying is that maybe you should go out and button a few of your top buttons. Dance with a dangerous stranger and get to know yourself. Do you really think that they could possibly ever like the self you know now? You can't even say a word to them. I'd be surprised if they even know you exist as anything but a face in the crowd. So what? What are you asking me to do? Let loose and let go and become something totally unhinged? I wouldn't even be able to recognize myself if I did that. All to make them like me? Isn't that what you want? For them to like you? Yes, but if it isn't me, who is it? Who is it they like? Does it even matter? No matter who it is, 
it's still you. Do you really value something so fragile as a sense of self so much? Self is temporary. Love is forever. You're absurd. You're every part of me that I rejected long, long ago. I'm a professional, and what are you if not a rickling pile of worms and feelings? Let me ask you something. Isn't that what you've been doing this whole time? Cease this. What is it about my suggestion that makes you so certain that you'll lose everything that makes you, you in the first place? Merely going out to enjoy yourself? Allowing a scandalous view of a cloud call in a dimly lit room? The idea of engaging with someone in kind, in a manner you're not familiar with? The idea that any of this would unravel this narrative you so thoroughly weave for yourself is laughable, but seemingly true for you, isn't it? This isn't even you. Is it? All I wanted to do was wash my hands. My hands are dirty, and I prefer them to be less dirty in order to prevent spreading disease, and- Dirt? Like the dirt I'm dropping on you, perhaps? Leave me. Leave me be. And do not contend with me in a public setting ever again. You know there's no getting rid of me. What am I if I'm not you? Spare me the philosophy. You have nothing good to teach.